I'm Karen Whitman, a printmaker from Woodstock, New York. I had the honor of being commissioned to make the 2021 print for the Print Club of Albany, a national print organization based in Albany, New York. This was my proposed sketch, a cityscape, which is my signature subject. I had intended it to be a day scene, but as I worked, I was dazzled by the night sky that was emerging. The drawing must be mirror image on the block so that it'll print correctly. The block has been pre-blackened so that I can see as I work how it will look with black ink rolled on. Now, sitting down to work, I start carving away areas that I know I will definitely want to be white or light because once removed, the linoleum cannot be put back. First, I traced my sketch onto tracing paper and turned it over so that my graphite lines would face the block mirror image. I used a ballpoint pen to transfer the lines to the block. Transferring lines can be done by rubbing through the tracing paper with a burnisher or a fingernail, but the ballpoint pen transfers a crisp mark, especially important for an image as complex as this one. By lifting the tracing paper, I make sure that I was transferring clear, easy-to-see graphite lines onto the block. I am now ready to start carving. I use a variety of V-shaped and scooped gouges to achieve a range of line widths, and a chisel for clearing more open areas. Now that exciting first cut. Everywhere I carve will be below the surface and will not receive ink when I roll it on, and will remain the paper's color when printed. The linoleum is firm but pliable, and I enjoy watching it curl away under the gouge as I carve. As you see, it takes a lot of patience to do this kind of work, but that's what makes it all the more satisfying when the prints are pulled off the press. As Tom Hanks said in A League of Their Own, it's the hard that makes it great. After making some thinner cuts, I use wider tools to clear more open areas. Unlike in drawing or etching, in block prints we add light to the image rather than darks. To make a good liner cut, I constantly make judgments toward achieving balance, value contrast, textural variety, and an easy flow of the eye around the composition. Viewing the block at an extreme angle, you can see more easily the depth of the gouged areas. I can be sure that these areas, as planned, will not accept ink. And now it's time to print. Although I live and work in Woodstock, two and a half hours outside of New York City, my prints are primarily of, or inspired by its five boroughs, having lived in or been connected to Manhattan my entire life. 
My images express my exuberance and affection for city life as I'm excited by its people and all other creatures that inhabit its sidewalks, rooftops, and alleys, as well as its architecture, with the leaning and swaying buildings often playing the central characters. I endeavor to portray the city as positive, accessible, and beautiful, even playful. But inadvertently, a sense of mystery unfolds from the juxtaposition of the whimsical with a touch of foreboding. The city embodies both at once, which is why it inspires me and is the primary subject of my work.